Pluto is a very mysterious place. It's long been known that Pluto isn't like the rest of the planets in our solar system. For one, it's much smaller than anything else revolving around our star. Did you know that Pluto is only 1,400 miles wide? That means that it's only half the width of the United States of America. Secondly, Pluto is further away from the Sun and partly because of that is covered with a lot of ice. Ices like methane and nitrogen frost coat the surface of this tiny, unique little world. It's a horribly cold place. There was a long time when Pluto was considered the ninth planet in our solar system. However, that is no longer the case. But while it is now categorized as a dwarf planet, it is still one of the most interesting objects we have come across. And it's just gotten a lot more interesting. Thanks to some of the latest and greatest pictures coming from NASA, we are now getting a much better look at Pluto and all of its secrets. And these real images, received in beautiful high definition, give us a clearer idea of how the planet looks and works. Let's get up close and personal with Pluto and see all the amazing secrets it holds. New Horizons is a project created by NASA all the way back in the 1980s. It was put together with one purpose, to finally get a better grasp on Pluto and see how this bizarre little chunk of ice worked. The $720 million project might have been dreamed up by the brilliant minds at NASA 30 years ago, but it wasn't until the early 2000s that it was officially given approval and a launch date. New Horizons took to the stars in January 2006, given the task of the first ever flyby of Pluto. Ever since the dwarf planet was first discovered back in the 1930s, many questions have swirled around it. New Horizons would be the best chance to really understand what was going on by getting very, very close to its surface. In fact, the New Horizons vessel would pass within 7,800 miles of the frigid, rocky surface of Pluto. That would definitely be close enough to snap quite a few promising pictures. It took New Horizons nearly 10 years to reach its destination, but on July 14, 2015, it zoomed past the planet for the first time. The images that New Horizons sent back were revolutionary and truly gave a new view of this beautiful, mysterious planet. Massive ice mountains, nitrogen ice plains and Pluto's well-known heart were all on crystal clear display for the first time. These images were groundbreaking for many reasons, but they only told half the story of Pluto. Because of lighting issues, New Horizons was only able to grab shots of the side of Pluto that was illuminated by the sun. As you can imagine, capturing pictures of the dark side of Pluto is a complicated process. Backlighting and speed are major issues. Simply put, if New Horizons tried to get shots of Pluto's dark half, the sun would backlight the images and make them nearly impossible to comprehend. It's like when the sun is shining through your car's front windshield, you can't see much of anything. It's all blocked out by the overwhelming brightness of the sun. But the team behind the mission had a thought. Based on their research and hard work, they determined that the dwarf planet's largest moon, Charon, might reflect enough light to cast some on Pluto's surface. Charon isn't like our moon, it retains a lot more light and reflects it much more too. Even with the sun on the opposite side, it was possible that Charon could be used as a spotlight on Pluto. The idea was enough to make the team turn the vessel back towards the sun and take another one last look at Pluto. To make this new photo session work, the researchers had the spacecraft snap 360 short photographs of the surface of the dwarf planet. Each photograph was just 0.4 seconds long to prevent overexposure. The team also photographed the sun without Pluto in the frame so that it could be deleted later. What they saw was well worth their time. But at first, deciphering these photos was too tall a task. It just took too much time, according to Todd Lauer of the National Optical Astronomy Observatory in Tucson. But a few years later, Laura and his team dug into the images and made them work by using computer programs to eliminate fuzz and other visual impairments in the photographs. The images showed the strange, unique way that Pluto's atmosphere works. On the dwarf planet, seasons move very, very slowly. In fact, each season is decades long. 
The seasons and atmosphere are controlled by how much nitrogen is in a gas phase in the air and how much is frozen on the surface below. If more nitrogen ice evaporates, the atmosphere obviously becomes thicker. However, if there is too much frozen on the ground, the atmosphere might not function correctly and collapse altogether. New Horizons photos revealed that Pluto's south pole seemed notably darker than its north pole. That proves that despite the fact that winter was approaching, there was not a lot of new nitrogen frost freezing out of the atmosphere. Although the last summer ended decades ago, Pluto cools incredibly slowly. So maybe it's still warm enough that ice can't form, keeping the atmosphere from collapsing. These images from the blind side of Pluto gave an in-depth look at the atmosphere of the planet in ways that scientists had never had before. But there was more discovered in the photographs from New Horizons, including something that can only be summed up with two words, ice volcanoes. The idea of a volcano spewing ice might seem bizarre and truly out of this world to you, and that's because, frankly, it is. In fact, what was found on Pluto by New Horizons is a first for our solar system, something that literally has never been seen anywhere else. Images from the deep space probe captured what looks like two volcanoes built out of frozen ice that once oozed molten ice from deep within the dwarf planet. The two peaks, named Wright Mons and Picard Mons, tower as high as five or six kilometers above the planet's surface, with rims more than 150 kilometers across. Instead of hot lava, like in Earth's volcanoes, flowing ice would spew forth from these massive mountains. Even though these are ice volcanoes, they would still need to be powered by a major internal heat source. And that's one of the strangest things about this discovery. In the past, most experts thought that Pluto was far too small to maintain that sort of heat needed to power a volcano. However, finding these ice volcanoes suggests that something has to be keeping things warm below the surface. As one researcher at NASA put it, whatever they are, they're definitely weird. These newfound volcanoes are a startling and amazing find, but they also raise many more questions about this cold alien world. After decades of thinking we had this dwarf planet figured out, the work done by New Horizons has shown that there is still so much to figure out about Pluto. From the harsh atmosphere to the bitter cold to one-of-a-kind ice volcanoes, New Horizons has revealed more than ever expected about Pluto. It's a strange small ice cube of a planet that, for the time being, is full of more questions than answers. After millions of dollars, decades of planning, and years of flying through deep space, New Horizons has illuminated the planet in some incredible ways and has left the door open for even more discoveries in the future. Pluto continues to surprise us, but nothing has shocked scientists more than this recent discovery by the Voyager spacecrafts. NASA has just detected a very strange humming noise coming from the cosmos and they think they know where, and possibly even who, it's coming from. Make sure to click the video on your screen to learn more about it, and I'll see you there.